just style, style, and blending of parts, and just feminine and dairiness. And then on down the line, we have a really good group of calves, and I explained to these exhibitors. But let's give all these guys a round of applause. Just an incredible class. As our winter calves make their way into the ring, into the International Jersey Show, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the two gentlemen in the ring. Our lead judge for the International Jersey Show is Jack LeMayo Jr. of Sylvan Beach, New York. Jack is a territory sales manager for ST Genetics. The New York native is also the owner of Purple Fever Cattle Co. and owns 40 animals representing all seven breeds that are housed in three states in Canada, most of which are leased to young 4-H members. LeMayo has bought and sold numerous All-American and All-Canadian nominees along with locating show calves for many youth who have a commercial dairy background. He has played a role in many nominations in both the All-American and All-Canadian contests. LeMayo returns to the Expo show ring as an official judge of the International Jersey Show after having previously served as the 2017 official judge and 2014 associate judge of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. Beyond judging at World Dairy Expo, LeMayo has evaluated dairy cattle at state shows across the Northeast, various regional shows in the U.S., the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair, and is preparing for a Jersey show in Columbia this coming year. Assisting Jack is Brent Walker of Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Brent is a part owner in Walker Bray Farms and Brubacher Sales. He lives in Guelph, Ontario with his wife, Robin, and children, Alexandria and James. Walker has bred and owned numerous Holstein, Jersey, and Brown Swiss All-American and All-Canadian award winners, while his farm currently features 130 Holstein and Jerseys. Along with the dairy cattle, Walker's farm is home to 100 beef cattle, 10,000 turkeys, and Percheron draft horses. While a first-time judge on the colored shavings, Walker has placed cattle at International Dairy Week in 2019-2010, in 1996, the Royal Agriculture Winter Fair in 2017, 2000, and 1998, and the Sydney Royal in 2015 and 1996, and many state shows in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome these judges to the ring and be excited for the International Jersey Show that's just getting kicked off.
Judge Tapp has completed his placings in the spring heifer calf class in the International Milking Shorthorn Show Ring. Would our juniors take two steps forward, please? Our second place junior is entry 1219, Easterbrook R.R. Britta, exhibited by Madison May Gudex of Easterbrook, Juneau, Wisconsin. Our first place junior is entry 1214, Heavenly Zula, exhibited by Brett Richard of Heavenly Show Cattle, Monroe, Wisconsin. Third place in the class is entry 1221, Lazy M. Jericho Lydia, exhibited by Lazy M. Farm, Stitzer, Wisconsin. Second place in the class is entry 1222, Lazy M. Lethal Justice, exhibited by Scott Wolf of Epworth, Iowa. And first place in the class and also bred and owned winner is entry 1215, Honor Roll Ocean Breeze, exhibited by Honor Roll Farm, Bridport, Vermont. Judge Top, your reasons? Well, uh, good, e good afternoon. I, I guess it's good evening to you uh, here at World Dairy Expo. Uh, it's a pleasure to serve as your official judge today, but uh, starting our uh, milking shorthorn show out today with a beautiful class of milking shorthorn spring calves. Starting the class, a calf that comes right to the top for me and Clark. Just love the overall size, frame, scale, and that depth and openness of rib and tracks out on a beautiful set of feet and legs. It's that rear rib today that gets her over a really balanced calf coming out here in second. Calf we didn't pull right away at the start, but I think a calf you get in line just kind of puts it together to follow the first calf today. Second over third, just a little nicer in that shoulder today. The third calf, another high style kind of a calf, just like to change the way she tracks out on those rear legs to get, to get her any higher in the class. Third over fourth, just holds that shoulder together, especially when you get them in line. Love the red roan calf when she's uh, out on the prey, just she gets in line, kind of breaks in that shoulder of fuzz, and like to lengthen her out in that frame to move her up in the class. Same way with the next calf coming out, just a really pretty stylish high profile kind of a calf, just not long enough in her frame to move up in the class today, but a beautiful class of spring calves. Congratulations. 